Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2 to a monumentous occasion I should say. I'm I'm really excited, jiggly as, as can be, uh, because Washington is closing in on 120,000. And with that, there it is. Washington DC remains the largest city yet, low rent and many jobs. Washington DC is not only the largest city, but also the first city in the region to reach 120,000 population. Since city life is easier and safer than life in the countryside, more and more citizens are drawn to the growing metropolis. And with that, goats everywhere. And with that, we have Washington as our first tier 6 city, right? So the highest level it can be. Of course, it continues to grow now, right? So we can continue to get it up there. Um, no skyscrapers yet, obviously. They weren't there in 1836 yet. But with that, of course, passenger is the passenger volume is pretty high as we can see. A thousand per week for the passengers and for the mail as well, together with the freight. It's it's a real challenge getting that many people um, between the stations here. Now we do have um, our express line, of course. I'm going to upgrade this to four trains now. Um, of course, it's getting really busy on this track here, but yeah, that's just how it goes. We are also closing in on 350,000 profit per week at the moment. Of course, with all the optimization in the last episode, uh, things are really smooth right now. Also, New York is continuing to grow into new heights. Uh, and Boston is also tier 3 on its way to tier 4. Mm, Parkersburg has shrunk, but that is a very remote city that I'm not really using that much yet. And I want to, yeah, I want to use this. Oh, by the way, Syracuse tier five on its way to that as well i want to um, use this now to also expand a bit again um horizontally right not vertically with the cities oh by the way philadelphia tier five as well um on its way to that really nice um i want to i want to open up a few more territories for us at the moment um and i want to also make pittsburgh one of my next bigger hubs that we have so pick Pittsburgh is over here, a small city at the moment, as we can see, nothing happening here right now. Beautiful mountains, by the way, right? So if you're in for a bit of hiking, I, I advise. And we can we can easily make pick Pittsburgh into something bigger. It has good cities close by, right? And I want to use that. Let's just see what we can expand here. Um, so Pittsburgh has beer. It needs meat. There is no meat production close by that we can use there right now. So I would have to look at the new cities here. And there it is. Toledo is producing meat. Oh, look at that. There's also my competitor coming in now. What? Taking away that Hilton farm. All right. Let's take this one. The battle is on. Uh, we can take this one. And I can then probably purchase that business here. The ranch. Will he be interested in it? No, he's not. All right. So we purchased that business here now. So with that, hopefully it is focusing on us right now, right? Um, it's already making us a profit, a small one, because of course he's exporting now the meat there too to um, Indianapolis and Louisville. And Toledo is going to be my meat production then down here. Let's create a new train line. And... Sure. Oh, sorry, not a new train line. We do need, of course, the train station. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've done it with that. And I want to go ahead... Uh, Pittsburgh, and then we have Cleveland over here. There is a collision with another building. What is this? Ah, there it is. Very good. Here, right? So something like that. We want to make sure that this time we are going to use all the techniques that we know by now, right? Go ahead and do this. And of course, we also have in here the grain. And then we go into Toledo. The grain it is, and I'm probably I probably cannot build that one yet. No, I can't. So let's just make sure that we make the connection. Pittsburgh is expanding. We have the platforms, and this time I'm I'm just going to use two plat uh, two tracks right away for this for this endeavor. Going to Cleveland, that's the max. Yep, and then we're going to make it parallel right away. Then we're using both platforms for Pittsburgh, and Cleveland continues then to Thompson's terminal. Max speed. It's very flat terrain here. No, it's not max speed. Now it's max speed. Right, and then from Thompson right away to Toledo. Something like that. And here, of course, we are also going to use both platforms from the go. Very good. So this one we can then expand safely. Um... 
That's one connection that we have. And I would also like to purchase this uh, Southern Ontario right away for a million. Um, then we got Toronto, London, and Ottawa. Yeah, we are, we are going into Canadian territory there, Toronto. And... Once again, I would like to use Pittsburgh. We can use uh, those platforms here then as well. Right, so we're going to really go with a massive expansion at this point. Um, London... We're making the connection here. Ooh, that's going to be a bridge, right? Yeah, totally. That's going to be quite the bridge. Hmm. Let's, I mean, it would of course make sense to build the bridge here. Otherwise, this is going to be really massive. How much would it cost me to build a bridge of that size? What? 500,000 for this bridge? And if I want to go ahead from up here, making that bridge work, it's 1.6 million. That's fine though. I like big bridges. We are going to make a massive monument out of the whole thing. And London it is. Coming in from Pittsburgh. Like so. The increasing spread of your rail network seems... And we're connecting another city with that, of course. We need to connect it first. So Pittsburgh, once again, is going to be the starting point for this endeavor. And we're going to use that track so that right of it, we should be having then one. That's the one. Two million. Yep. Totally makes sense. <laughs> and of course, we're going to make this parallel right away. Doesn't cost me that much then anymore. All the way to Pittsburgh and London then 38 railway connected now and then it continues to Toronto and we continue then into deeper Canada territory with that here we just make the next connection and this continues then to London let's just make sure max speed we can keep both directions very good and with that a new massive trail, uh, train line has been established. Um, of course, once again, we can use then here the, the the system that we already have, right? So with the freights then as well. I'm going ahead and make here a grid iron. We can use a smaller one for that. And I would definitely also like to use then a grid iron here. So we are going to use platform number three. All right, we need more distance. That's fine. This could be a bit better, to be honest, but okay. Let's make it like that. We close it off again. And of course, on the other side, the same thing. There you go. And then we close in on Pittsburgh. And here we basically could, yeah, get the next track right on, on our way. Pittsburgh really is going to be something. And once again, a grid iron. Um, what we still should, of course, implement here is once again some supply towers. One here and one on the other side in Toronto. And that's it. We can now make a new line for passenger transportation and for freight then as well. London, Pittsburgh. Oh, by the way, one thing I need to do, of course, track direction. There you go. This is better. And then we can make that line. Unfortunately, it doesn't save the line edit when we leave it for a moment. Right? So we always need to redo the whole line then again. So in Toronto, we start, um, let's say, platform one. Then we go to London from Toronto. So we have to use platform number one. Right? And then we continue onwards to Pittsburgh, where we use platform number, probably the last one would make the most sense. Um, so that's one, two, three. Yeah, the last one. Pittsburgh, seven. And then we we'll go back to London where we use platform number two on our way back to, to Toronto. Let's use the express on this. Two we use. I want to use the dining car. We could also go with the mail car. Um, but I think we've reduced the volume of stuff that we can carry with that, right? That is something I don't like so much. I would have loved this to be an extension. 
um, of the train. Instead, it's a replacement of one of the, the cars that we already have. It's a bit strange. Um, and by the way, this is express, so really, don't go with any cargo, please. I don't like that. And also no cloth. And also no cloth here, right? This is really just for passengers. We are going to make the same line, of course, again. This is Toronto, London, Pittsburgh, London, Toronto. And this time, we are going to use only freight. Um, the freight train, two of them. And we're going to choose a different platform this time. So in Pittsburgh... Wait a second, let's go for Toronto first. We use platform number one here now for the passengers. So we can use, yeah, platform number three, for example, right? Um, in London, then, it's platform number, I think, three as well. Yep. Three. In Pittsburgh, we're going to use platform number six, the middle ground that we are not using at the moment. And in London, again, number three, right? And this is only for freight now. Let's confirm. And with that, we have two train lines in addition. Transporting now processed goods and passengers and mail between three cities once more. And I'm fully expecting to do this to be extremely profitable. And of course, also, it's a really scenic route. Over a very long bridge. Just beautiful how far you can see. And they're having a blast with it. And of course, we're doing the same thing with uh, Toledo, Cleveland, Pittsburgh. So once again, I'm creating two trade routes here, or trains, right? That's the passenger one, Express Cities. Oh, by the way, yeah. As always, you business with directions. There's really a lot of smaller things that you need to do to set, set up a new uh, railway network here. There you go. This is also looking fine to me now. And now we can set up this train. And once again, we're going to focus here on Express now. Express Firefly 2 with the dining car. I'd like my people to eat something. And in Toledo it starts. Um, let's go ahead with platform number 1 in Toledo. Oh, yeah. And by the way, once again, do not allow meat transportation. Oh, it should be deactivated anyway, right? Then it goes to Cleveland, where we're using platform number 2. To keep things organized. And then we go into Pittsburgh, where we use platform number 4, it is, right? I think it is 4. Nah, it is platform number 3. That is not utilized yet. And then we go back to Cleveland, where we use platform number 1. And with that, another train line comes out. And then we are doing the same thing again with freight. And this is a bit more complicated now. So meet uh, Thompson, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh. And we probably will not even go to Cleveland. Oh, actually we can, and Thompson Terminal. And this is all for freight. And of course, in Thompson Terminal, we use platform number three. In Cleveland, we use platform number three. In Pittsburgh, we use platform number four. In Cleveland, platform number three. And in Thompson, also platform number three again. So that we never really collide with my passengers. This is going to be great. Two trains on it. Off you go. And once again, two more train lines on its way. Continuing our growth of cities. I also especially like my business here, uh, thanks to purchasing it, my competitor directly pays me now to purchase the livestock here and pays it in our, into our pockets with that. It also can't hurt to look at my component opponents. We have a bit of cash at hand right now, so General Donovan is the dangerous one um, because he's close to me. We might purchase another 40% of theirs here for 5 million. Are you up to something sneaky again? And with that, we are at 40% with him. Uh, Idris, hmm, 
Oh, by the way, cold a must in every household. New shooting iron pa uh, patented gun nuts across the country. Are excited about inventor Samuel Cole's new development, a new form of revolver. Right? Has nothing to do with my acquisition there for now. <laughs> so, I was a bit confused there. What is Idris doing? He's really on the other side of the country. And he's completely alone there. So, he's he's just fine. And he's just building up really a big um, network. Even though he does not have a tier 5 city yet, right? So, better get on to it. So, the general also does not have a tier 5 city yet. I also love to look at the profits of some of my lines here. This one actually breeds 100,000 there uh, per week. New York City. That's New York to Washington. That's the high density zone here, right? This is really making a lot of cash for us right now. It also has their express uh, ticket still in place. And with that, we're making really something massive. What is a line that doesn't make profit right now? That is Norris to Root. This one here, that's a very specialized roller train line, getting the vegetables over to Root Stop so we can transport it to washing. It does serve its purpose, right? So it's not profitable, of course, but it does serve its purpose. The other one would be the fruits to Boston. Also something that's not profitable. But once again, it serves its purpose so we can produce liquor in Boston that we get over then to New York, for example. New York, by the way, is also tier 5, and you, of course, want to make sure that this gets to tier 6. There's still the grain and corn thing, so this is getting a bit on my nerves here now. Beer should actually be in at all times, so I think we really have a freight problem here. A line problem. Hmm. There is grain here in Smith Farm, so I might... Uh, might be able to do this. Just getting grain over... Albany to Albany and hmm we need to do something here it's not enough though there's lots of corn and grain now here in Syracuse I think we're just not having enough trains on this route ah yeah okay there is another problem here um, we are exporting a lot of it right now to Pittsburgh to Portland as well to Washington um, a lot of the grain that gets to New York is not bound for New York, so it's getting for it's getting to Boston, for example. New York, uh, Washington, on the other hand, has its own deposits close by, right? So we should probably change the warehouse here a bit, because right now we're accepting the grain and the corn, so it's automatically getting transported over here, and I'm not doing this anymore, right? So we're using it now for New York. So the stuff that is stored here should be used then for it. We're no longer using uh, New York here as a hub for, for these two goods. We need it ourselves. This should solve one of the problems. Also, the big lick already has a very cool station. And we just probably just, just expand on that. Um, as we have those, there is now one going to Walker Stop and then Charlotte, right? That goes all the way to this area. So this is already a really well utilized station, except this track here. Right? That is something we can use, and I would like to do this in order to get new cities in. Durham and Wilmington are not in my network yet. Let's go ahead, Durham, there you go. And from Durham we continue onwards to Wilmington. Um, and here then, of course, as always, the track. So this one here is not really being utilized, and we can just go ahead all the way then to Durham. And let's just make sure that we use this one. And yeah, we can actually... And make it parallel. There it is. Very good. We just need to make sure then that we, we, we switch to the right system then here, right? As we enter the big lick. What a fantastic name. And we continue onwards with the next station right away to Wilmington. There is a tribes people. There is, yeah, tribes people over there. So a tribe, the Yuki we have. And a mountain in between. So this is getting a bit tricky there, perhaps. We need to we need to go around here. We could use the fruit station here as a buffer. Or the corn. Corn is more important, I think, right? So let's go ahead with this. We're going over here. Using the corn in between. Something like that. And then we continue onwards into Wilmington final station. So we might actually, at some point, if we can afford it, make a bridge from here to Europe. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, let's also have this one connected. Again. Like that. And of course we can make it parallel right away. 
And here, that's the tricky station, or the tricky part, but it should be fine too. No tunnel, max speed, easy, no problem too. Also a new achievement, currently 42 railway stations are connected and also a new record in rural stations that we have. This goes Durham, beautiful countryside here by the way, I like it. Going in then here and also Parker train station. Parker train station of course since we will have some cargo here too will then need its own system. Wilmington does not. The Parker station will need to have once again also a third track. on both sides. Then we make grid iron here. And a grid iron here. And Durham also needs the third track because here we also will have then cargo being loaded and unloaded. And this goes then into Big Lake. Um, am I using this one? No, this is also unutilized. So I can use this one for cargo then. There you go. Making the Big Lake even bigger than before. Very good. I think that's it. Uh, we still need to have, of course, directions once more. And of course, the cool thing is uh, those people can be bound for Washington, for New York, and we can just do the job. Right, so we can transport them and they're happy. Also, we have a new corn uh, supply, which is just really important. So I'm getting the corn then to the big lick. Here we have a warehouse. Um, there's already corn. So there's corn from somewhere else coming in. Yep, from Johnson Station. There it is. And of course, we need as much corn as possible to supply all these cities here. So that's going to be another very important one for us. Let's create the passenger first. Wilmington, Durham, big lick and Durham. And in Wilmington, platform number one is fine. The freight is going to be on the two. Parker, we ignore. Uh, Durham, we use platform number two. And Big Lick, and this is important. Um, we are using platform, the middle tier platform, the last one that we have, the second last one that we have, number seven, right? And then we go back again. Durham, platform number one. And be done with it. Call it a day. Let's make it express. And have two on this. Very good. And then we just need the freight as well. But the freight is going to be a bit more tricky. Because I probably want to have a specialized one for the corn. And then just an intercity freight line. Right? So I think this is safer. So we're going with one corn that goes to the big lick. As I said, corn is just really important for the bigger cities. Right? And we want to have as much of that as possible. So this is only a freight. And really just that. Right? That simple. We're going to use platform number three, so we don't interfere with anyone. And go to the big leak. And over here, we do have then platform number, I think it is six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. To unload the corn. And that's really it, right? It's just one. That's what one. I call a real breakdown. That is just really focusing on, on corn, while the other one is full for passengers, right? And then we still have a third line now on this one. So this is getting complicated, but it should be fine. That is Wilmington, Durham, Big Lick, Durham, Wilmington. And this is really just for intercity um, goods, right? The cloth we have, the clothing we have, the beer and the meat. And this is again getting transported between the cities here, supplying them with that. Um, and once again, in Wilmington, we're choosing another platform because it needs to be separated, of course. Park train station we ignore. And Durham is also going to be platform number three. And also on its way back, platform number three. Right, and in the big lick, we are also using the same one as we have on the on the corn, and that is platform number six. Right. Freight, let's make two trains on this, and it's just going to focus on freight. And that's it. Phew! Three lines on one track, sy tra track system should be golden. We'll just see. Let's also go ahead and add us some supply tower here for these buggers and on the other side of course as well somewhere here and also a maintenance depot in big lick because this is quite the hop here at this point and we want to use as many trains in one of these as possible 
So who would have thought that this city becomes a central point for anything? But it is. And with that, we continue onwards in the next episode. Stay tuned.